This is Neighborhood Eats. Welcome to Philadelphia. Some people call it pizza, but it's not pizza. It's like a lot of different textures in one bite. You could have it at any temperature, cold, warm, hot. I don't like to make the pie too light. I like it well done. Beautiful. I kind of call it the cousin of pizza. It's church pizza at Sunday. It's a Philadelphia celebration food. It's crispy, it's fluffy, it's doughy. It's a beautiful thing. Hey, I'm Rome, and ever since I was a little kid, I've been eating food. Good cooking, good people, good music, good vibes. When you have all those ingredients, the whole neighborhood eats. This week, we're in Philadelphia trying tomato pie. I once gifted pizza expert Dave Portnoy a fresh Philadelphia baked tomato pie. Dave checked the temperature and noticed the pie was cold. Oh, it's cold? Dave denied the pie, insisting that he preferred his pizza warm. Little did Dave know, tomato pie isn't pizza. Tomato pie is not pizza. It's not it, pizza. It's not That's pizza. important. Right. It's a nice fluffy dough, we got our nice sauce on it, and it just gets sprinkled cheese on it. And you eat it cold. Now, it's supposed to be cold. So it's to be cold. Corpolis, the tomato pie with Lil Sass and tomato pie expert maniac Malloy. List the places where you've seen people eat a tomato pie. Graduation parties, a christening. I've actually seen them eat it at a christening funeral mix. A christening afternoon. funeral mix? Yes, it was a bad day. We made over 5,000 tomato pies just for the Eagles Super Bowl. Really? That was the most we ever made in one day. Because it's like a Philly thing, right? It's a Philly thing. It's a Philadelphia celebration food, is what it is. It's a, that's, this is a Philadelphia celebration That's a great food. point. I'm yeah. lactose intolerant, so this is like my perfect. Are you actually, or are you just like a hypochondriac and told yourself you're lactose intolerant? Like if I had, if this was pizza, I'd be going explosive diarrhea all the <laughs> You'd be going diarrhea? Mm-hmm. Get a metal slice and show us the stance that you gotta stand in. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> like an umpire. I mean, you don't wanna fuck up the swag or the slime. Yeah. No. <laughs> you gotta arch your back a little bit. Just stick your ass out a little bit like that. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Tomato pie, not tomato pie. Nobody's <laughs> saying tomato pie. No. Tomato pie. It's tomato pie. It just, just rolls off the yeah, tongue. Rolls, rolls off the tongue. Off the tongue. Way <laughs> tomato pie. That's right. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Ground zero for tomato pie is in South Philly, with some places making enough of it that they only have to stay open 15 days a year. That gives guys like Vincent Ionelli, the owner of Ionelli's Brick Oven Bakery, plenty of time to work on busting balls. Yeah, this is from Drexel? Yeah. Oh, yeah, really? that's Drexel's basketball court. Yeah, my cousin robbed the wood. How do you get the wood? How do you even get the wood? What do you mean? You pull up in the back of the truck the way my guys are gonna rob your fucking camera truck and you walk out with it. I'm telling you, this guy likes to get beat up at night. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he gets locked up. He likes to get locked up in the basement and fucking beat the fuck up. <laughs> I definitely think you should definitely not ever be a comic. I mean, he's got it all figured out, this guy Adam. Fucking what happened? They kicked you out of the frat party at fucking 30, bro? Yeah, they wouldn't even let me in. I never got in at the first place. That's usually what happens when you have a small dick. You're rolling it forever. By the time you're done, you'll be able to grow some facial hair. <laughs> Get back to me, you look this good at my age. Why do people like you so much? Because I know it's not your personality. No, not at all. No, honestly, we make a good tomato pie here. I yeah. mean, it's made in the brick oven right behind me. Uh, family's been in business since 1910. Uh, years ago, we used to be open like seven days a week. And uh, for the past several years, we're only open 15 days a year. Now you're gonna ask me the question like, why? That's just how it is. 15 days a year? 15 days a year. Which days? The days I choose. How do the people know when, you, when you're going to open? How do they know when to come in? Request to follow me on Instagram at Inelly's Bakery. And I say request because I'm private. Yeah, you're telling And I want to see life. who you are. So if I see Adam, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you can follow me. You can follow me. <laughs> Never. <laughs> yeah, I'm not passing the smell test. Yeah, brother. It smells like pussy. <laughs> Let's go. One thing at a time. Let's go. It's me? Yeah, you hands clean? Yeah, they're Let me look at them. Are you, are you married, poor bastard? Here you go. <laughs> so push it to choke up on the stick. And then we're gonna push you right there. That's fine. Keep going. Right. A little more, a little deeper. Deeper, you know what I mean? Yeah, you like that. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, it Maybe you, like do. you do. I don't know. It sounds like you do. So, getting back. All right. I know these famous crab gravy. All right. 
What makes it so special? There's multiple reasons. Okay. Okay. I cook the blue claw crabs. Yeah. They're, they're, are, they're locally harvested by myself at the Jersey Shore. So you just catch them by catch hand. Them, catch them by hand. By hand. They're usually really? on, the pi on, on the pilings, you know, on the pilings in the back of the houses. Uh -huh. People have their docks. Yeah. So they're usually like over there probably looking for a female crab. Like, hey, how you doing? Yes. Yeah, you, you want this minnow? You want this minnow? Come here. Let me talk to you a minute. And then here I am with the hand. like the fuck in that bag. Is the way you're making it the way that you were taught? Are you adding anything to was what it, you're doing? It was the same exact way I was taught. It was instilled to me. Yeah. And I mean, basically without the, you're fucking doing it wrong. <laughs> you're doing it wrong. I can't tell this kid nothing. <laughs> that That's up? the only difference. Fucking asking a lot of questions. Yeah, I feel like I you're going to open questions. up a bakery now. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get the secrets right now. Yeah, 16 days a year. Adam, come see Adam. <laughs> come see Adam. He's 16 days a year. And this is it. Now, a lot of people will be like, ah, oh, it's fucking burnt. It's this, that. It's not burnt. I make my pie cooked. It's right incredible. Here. It's incredible. It's fucking great. I'm sure this is probably going to be your best stop. I'd, I'd be real surprised if it wasn't. I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. I'd like yeah, to thank yeah, me and just me. <laughs> when I lived in Maniunk, I would walk down Umbria Street every Sunday to get a tomato pie and a bread from Marciano's Bakery, a pure neighborhood spot that makes everyone feel like family. I'm Christina Marciano. Denise Marciano. <laughs> And you guys are related. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, yeah. She's my older sister. Ah, but she's lying to her teeth. So it's a family business. Yeah. And we love each other. We hate each other sometimes. That's true. <laughs> we fight a whole lot in the bakery. Um, okay. But at the end of the day, we sit at the dinner table together. So tell me what a tomato pie is. It's church oh, pizza. It's Sunday. Oh, church pizza. Yeah, you yeah. stop here after church. I mean, I've seen people line up out here on hey, Mr. Sundays. Ed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's Ron. Who's that? Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed. What's Mr. Ed doing? He's been working at the Come on down, Mr. Ed. What are we talking about, Mr. Ed? What's your favorite bread? What's your favorite bread you ever got from here? Well, they all taste good with beer, so I'm, <laughs> uh, I'll take cheesesteak. Well, my dad always just said they're, just, you know, people's two favorite things, cheesesteaks and tomato pies in Philly, so why not put cheesesteak on a tomato pie? <laughs> And while some bakeries have been making tomato pie for generations, others are starting their own operations from their home ovens. The folks from Fly Pies came to meet me outside Ray's Happy Birthday Bar in South Philly for a slice. Have you ever had a tomato pie? Born and raised. Born and raised on a tomato pie. Isn't it around here? I love that. Yeah, around here, yeah. Yeah, they're all over the place. It's a South Philly staple. So what uh, what struggles have you uh, ran into making your own pies? Is it like the type of dough that you use? No, nah, I mean, it's not the fact that I'm using a conventional home oven to like <laughs> bake legit pizzas out of it. Yeah, some of these other people are putting 500 pies in their oven simultaneously. Yeah, yeah. yeah and they're spending like, you know, 10 grand at a clip on ovens. We just working with what we got. What do you, do you like it cold? Do you like it hot? I like I like a cold with beer. Oh, with the beer, nice. And if they want to get a beer, they gotta come down and raise. Happy birthday, <laughs> That's boy! The place, That's the place. Can I take a look at this pie or what? Can I can I take a whack of this? Oh, look at that, <laughs> beautiful! Wow, I'm gonna go up one of these corner slices there. My man, I'm a corner guy. Too. Beautiful. Okay, there you got go. the garlic Anybody right else? on there, the parmesan, a little bit of basil. Oh, we're whacking into it right away. Excellent. I don't mind. Really good. Dynamite. There's man. dynamite. I don't even need to hear your review, bro. Yeah. You got a dynamite from Lou right here. You know what I think? What do you think, Lou? I think that uh, I'm going to be 83 in two weeks. Okay. I'm eating this, I'm going to live to 93. That's what I think. <laughs> I love that. Oh, <laughs> Eat the fly pies, get 10 extra years on your life. <laughs> One of the keys to a good tomato pie is the oven. And over at Conshohocken Bakery, they have the Death Star of ovens, a million dollar behemoth that cranks out thousands of pounds of dough each day. So this is our tunnel oven. This tunnel oven, oven came, yeah. This That's like a pizza oven on steroids. Yeah, it is. And it's all stainless. It's Domino's like wishes they could get their hands on something like this. They never they, will, though. No, <laughs> they, not, no they, I don't think it'll fit in their buildings. <laughs> no, they, exactly. They're not built like that. They're, They're not built not. like Conta Hock and Bakery. No. Baking process takes about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the product that we're baking. And it'll come out the backside and come up on these racetrack conveyor systems and eventually go over to that spiral system behind you. Yeah, it's a very and cool system. Best, best rolls in the city right here, Conta Hock and Bakery. I'll put my name We're the best kept secret around. I would say. I would say so. Secret's out now. There you go. Oh, my God. 
Outrageous. Don't you eat it delicious? It's delicious. Where? It's out of this world. Larry, Larry, Larry let's it. get Larry a slice. Larry, you want a slice of tomato pie? Larry, get a slice. I just kept on eating that. <laughs> <laughs> There's always room for tomato pie. Oh, yeah? Have a slice, just a little we slice. Want. We got the tiny no slice. No pressure. Hey, yeah, Larry, get a slice. <laughs> there you go, Larry. Get, get, get okay, right Larry, now get Larry. back to work, Larry. <laughs> the sauce is a little bit spicy. It's not as sugary and sweet. And yes, we don't put we don't put much sugar. Let's see, let's see, Boom. see, you got an ingredient out of it already. Oh no! I'm gonna push my luck. What makes it spicy? I can't tell you. Because <laughs> if I tell you, I gotta kill you. Yeah. I was born that night, but not last night. Oh. <laughs> In a lot of ways, tomato pie is baked into Philadelphia's Catholic community. But guys like Matt Buddha at the new hotspot Liberty Kitchen are starting their own traditions. We're kind of between Fishtown and Kensington, but technically it's old Kensington. You know what churches are around here? Around the block from St. Paul's Church? St. Bridges Parish. So St. Jerome's and St. Matt's. We went to Holy Family, but our, our dad's dad from went Saint to St. Lucy's. St. Lucy's. You're probably St. Matt's Parish. We claim all parishes. And then there's St. John's, uh -huh. there's St. Josephat's, there's IHM, okay. St. Mary. Yeah. There's a lot of parishes yes. out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't tell you I'm a Jewish guy, man. Oh, I might be the only Jewish guy making tomato pie in town, I don't know. But that's probably I feel like possible. That's a feather in your hat if that's it's the something. case. It's definitely something. In the layer right under the sauce, it always has a little bit of that because the sauce is so moist it won't fully cook. Yeah. And I kind of love that texture. Because it's like, a, there's such a big textural difference. It's crispy, it's fluffy, it's doughy. It's like, kind of like juicy on the top with like the sauce. It's a beautiful thing. It's like a lot of different textures in one bite. That was your perfect. I like right. the thick ones. Cheers, Wes. Cheers. Hell yeah. Cheers. Thanks for having us by. My pleasure. Ooh. There's yeah. a thick boy. Mm-hmm. I think this is my top dog. Yeah? Yeah. Top uh, there dog? We go. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> my Massachusetts guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah. I like the thick ones. Yeah. A lot of different textures, a lot of different flavors. It's simple. It's like five, six ingredients, but there's so much complexity to it, right? In the 1980s, Northeast Philly tried to secede from the rest of Philadelphia to start their own city, so you know they're going to have their own take on everything, including the tomato pie. We swung by Gata's to get a taste of the Northeast. Welcome to Gata's! Well, what, what makes Northeast Philly so special? You know, we have our own stuff, we like our own stuff. Right. We don't really care who comes here and likes it or doesn't like it or not. Right. Yeah. I don't, we don't, you don't gotta go to South Philly for anything, you can stay here. And uh, I mean, a, a lot of tomato pies, you know, there are people in South Philly. It's kind of important that there's a tomato pie spot up here in Northeast Philly. And this particular tomato pie, um, it originated in that Northwest uh, area of the city near East Falls in Germantown. Uh, the family that created it, uh, it's been around for like 100 years. So it's pretty much the same recipe over time that we've all kept. Are we calling it sauce? Are we calling it gravy? Am I getting taken out back and beat up if I no. say sauce instead of gravy? No, sauce is fine here. The sauce is all right here. I also like your seasoning technique. You were like up here throwing like a curveball with it yeah, or something we like were, that. We were salt bay before that guy ever came yeah. around. Mamma mia, musica e pittura, cinema e cultura, è l'Italia, è l'Italia, mamma mia. As long as tomato pie has been a tradition in Philadelphia, it's been served, it's been served at the fifth generation Sarcones. What is, what is that? What the f and, and, and with over 100 years serving the community, Sarcones is at the epicenter of it all. What, what the fuck is that noise? We got everything going on down here. We got a million trucks coming every direction. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, why don't you start off letting us know who you are, where we are, and now I messed up. Is that what everybody else does? Do they add spice to it? Is it supposed to be sweet? Are we gonna get run over by a skateboard? <laughs> Rocky ran right down there. Damn, Damn Rocky, Rocky ran down yep. there. So you gotta take some pride in beef. Jesus! It's always something. <laughs> what are you, a you're a baseball guy? A hockey guy. A hockey guy? Yeah. Dude, how does the hockey skill translate to being able to make some bread? Discipline. Discipline. Yeah. Tell me about it. Uh, it's all timing with hey, our. You know, Mr. Cohen. 
Yeah, yeah. wait a second. This must have fuck this. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Four brick ovens that are built right into the building. You can see how far back they go. Holy Fast. crap. How old are these? Probably since like the 1920s sometime. We opened up in 1918, and then late in the late 1920s, we expanded to back here. And it's been the same ovens? Same ovens. No way. Ovens. Yep, same brick. Each oven fits about 100 loaves. We, we do 80, but if we had to when we were busy around the holidays, we could fit about 100 two-foot long loaves of bread in there. Being in business for five generations, it's like playing whisper down the lane. Each generation that precedes the generation before them, if they don't listen to exactly what they say, something gets lost in the translation from one generation to the other. Well, you could already feel how that bread is just so crispy. It's just beautifully textured out, beautifully layered. There's gonna be a nice crunch there. Thin, not too thick, not too doughy. Yes. Yes. What temperature do you think you'd like it at? This temperature. This temperature. Room temperature. Room. That's not hot, not cold. That room seems to be the favorite. Can I go corner? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Mmm. My goodness. Yeah. I like this a lot. I like the sauce a lot too. The what? The gravy. Yeah, <laughs> get it, man. <laughs> Those are all the tomato pie spots we hit in Philly, but that doesn't mean they're the only ones to visit. Drop us a line, let us know where to go, and you might see us next time on Neighborhood Eats. You know Mr. Cohen? Yeah, I know Mr. Cohen. Cohen, fuck yourself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>